All right, uh, I just want to do a quick little video on what I did with this uh, aircraft. Um, I pretty much added flaps and tellerons or dual elevators with the option to go tellerons on this thing. And what I did, oh, I hate this rat's nest. But anyway, I moved one of the ailerons down to, I think it was seven. And I moved uh, one of the elevators to flat five, but I made sure that they match both sides equally so I can trim them out normally or see it in the radio. So uh, what I have so far, so you can notice the gears are down and then I have the throttle to elevator mix. And if you notice right now, my elevators work. Okay. Uh, the throttle... The elevator mix does not work. I don't know if you could see it. Those lights are pretty damn bright. Okay. So when I raise the gear. Okay. So the gear is gone. I should have now throttled the elevator mix. So if you see. I don't know if you could see it. But you can see the, uh, the elevator is moving right now. And then I have it on a trimmer here so it's on my right trim which so you can see it more and more now okay so i have that mixed that's mixed to my uh landing gear so when my landing gear is coming down i no longer have that mix as you can see okay now i added a mix if you can see i don't have tailorons right now and i have ailerons so you can see there. Now if I flip to my Teleron mode, you'll hear my radio say it. Tailorons on. I now have Tailorons, which also acts with my ailerons on the side. So I have that mix in. And if I want, I have flaps. Flaps full. So I have flaps on both. They're both down. And Tailorons are not affected by the flaps. Okay. God, man, this is, <laughs> that's bright, bright. Okay, so, and if I don't need tailorons on landing, I can do that, and I can do that. So, no tailorons at all. So, that's just a quick um, setup that I did. Um, also, um, I disabled my Spectrum, and I had a orange rc let's see if you can see it uh yep it's an r 820x v3 and it defaults to s bus out so i have a single um a single lead going into r1 i believe yeah well it's going into r1 and then i had to do some setup in here to adjust the channel's output to the channel output of my ix20 so all this if you can see it now so you can see everything operating right here Tailorons on. as needed Tailorons off. Flaps full. and all that stuff so also the throttle to elevator you can also see it doesn't work here okay until yeah. I did this and you can see the ele elevators move. So, and they're also affected on the Tailor teleron side too. So it doesn't matter if my tailorons are off or on. Flaps up. And flaps and all that stuff. So tailorons off. that is my setup. And I'm going to show you all one more thing. So what I did for my setup. I went to aircraft type. And this is going <laughs> to... So my aircraft type is flapper on wing and my elevator is dual dual elevators one rudder and then I have it set for For my mixing. Let me see where it's at So my mixing is this So all this is default when you set all that up then I have aileron to left elevator on my switch d2 like that so when I do d2 I have a hundred hundred um, 
so that's all there. And then the next one is throttle to right elevator, right here. So the rate is one right now. And then when I do that, it's 27 to start out with, but also have it set on a the right digital trim for the left output. So if you notice, I can adjust how much um, I want. So if I only want like 5% or whatever, I can adjust it from here. If I find that it's not enough, I can adjust it. So that's what I have going on with this. <laughs> So now, now on landing, it shouldn't, when you come off the throttle, it shouldn't balloon up because it no longer has down input. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be flying this tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry for the blurriness, this LED is bright as hell. But anyway, I'm going to be flying this tomorrow and doing all the testing and adjusting and all that stuff. So anyway, I hope you uh, found some of it informative. See you.